so hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in this video i will solve problem binary string from educational round 128 also i don't have my webcam on today uh, because i am at my home i don't have my complete setup uh, so anyways uh, let's start with the problem so what have been so what have we been given in the problem so we have been given a binary string we have been given a binary string so something like this what we can do is we can remove some prefix or suffix so we can remove some prefix or suffix from this string and the cost after removing the prefix or suffix is equal to maximum of number of ones removed or number of zeros left so for example if I remove these prefix and suffix in the string the ones that I removed are 2 plus 1 so I remove 3 ones and the zeros that are left are 1 2 3 4 so there are 4 zeros left so my, so my cost will be 4 so we have been asked to minimize this cost we have to minimize the cost of the string and we have we have to tell this minimum cost and we have to find this minimum cost so uh, obviously we have been told to minimize something so obvious candidates are we have been told to minimize something so obvious things that you can think about are uh, either some kind of greedy I tried to think about greedy but I could not come up with one uh, second was DP I also could not think about some kind of DP but there are some DP solutions in the comments of the announcement post so you can check that right there was one DP solution by someone called aging uh, he had a good DP solution you can check that and third was was and third was binary search I think binary search was the most intuitive to me for this problem so I will explain that solution here so if we have to draw this on a graph so something like this so if th this is the possible cost right here we start with zero here will be our minimum cost and here will be your number of ones total number of ones right then the answer here will be no right it it won't be possible so here it will be is it possible sorry for this is it possible here the answer will be no and here the answer will be yes so obviously we can we can search for this we can search for this boundary using binary search so how can we apply binary, binary search on this so we will binary search on the possible cost we will binary search on possible cost from 0 to total number of ones from 0 to total number of ones so how can we do this so my low will be obviously 0 and my high will be number of ones so let's take some example for uh, the question in the one zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one obviously here the number of ones are five so my high will be five so my it will be low plus high high by two that is zero plus five over two so that will be two so now my possible cost is two so my possible cost is possible cost to check now I have to check if 
my cost two is possible or not so it is a number of ones that i can remove number of ones that i can remove because i have to check check if co uh, cost two is possible or not so if my cost is two i am allowed to remove two number of ones so i can remove mid number of ones right i can remove mid number of ones so uh, if my string is something like this 1001001001 i am allowed to remove two ones here but how can i remove two ones so there are like there are n n possible like n possible ways to remove them so first is either i can remove two ones from the prefix two from prefix and zero from the end either i can remove one from the prefix and i can remove one from the suffix or either i either i can remove zero from here and i can remove two from the suffix so there are three possible ways so to calculate uh, all of them i can use prefix or suffix sums so i will keep a pre prefix and suffix sum so i will keep a prefix and suffix sum so my prefix of i will tell me number of zeros that will be removed when i remove i number of ones number of ones from prefix similarly for suffix of i it will tell me the same thing except jahan pe prefix wahan pe kya jayega suffix aa jayega so for example in the this string my prefix of 0 will be equal to 0 my prefix of 1 will be equal to this so it will be equal to 2 my prefix of 2 will be equal to 4 and so on so i can easy i can easily use these prefix and suffix to find my cost for all these possible cases so how can i do this one 0 0 1 0 0 1 so i will start iterating right for i equal to zero uh, i goes to number of ones that i can remove here that is mid so yahan mera i kya hai number of ones that i remove from my prefix right so obviously if i remove i i i ones right if i remove i ones my number of zeros left so currently i have zeros currently zeros left are equal to to total number of zeros that is total zeros these these are the number of zeros that are left now i remove i ones from my prefix now i remove i ones so for example let's say i remove i ones right and i i i remove mid minus 1 from behind that is mid minus i i remove mid minus i ones from suffix so the zeros left will be left minus equal to prefix of i because i have removed i ones from the prefix so jo uske corresponding jo mera prefix sum hai utne zeros remove ho jayenge similarly left minus equal to suffix of mid minus i because i have to remove total number of ones that i remove are equal to mid so if i have removed i i ones from the prefix i will have to remove mid minus i ones from the suffix so my zeros left are uh, minus equal to prefix of i minus equal to suffix of mid minus i 
so if my left zeros are less than or equal to mid then my is possible is equal to 1 my is possible is equal to 1 why so because my cost is equal to maximum of number of removed z removed ones and number of left zeros obviously the number of removed ones here are equal to mid right the number of ones that I, that I am removing here are always equal to mid and the number of zeros left zeros are here equal to this variable left this variable left so here it will be left so if my left is less than equal to mid then my cost will be equal to mid so I can say yes mid is my possible cost I can say mid is my possible cost so uh, that was the solution so if is possible if is possible your high will be equal to mid minus one you have found a min minimum cost now you want to find a cost that is less than this so you will update your high equal to mid minus one and your answer will be equal to your mid otherwise it is not a possible cost so your low will be equal to mid plus one so that is how your binary search will work uh, also for example uh, if you want to uh, do this I will give you an example for the case where 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 right there are 5 so let's solve this for mid equal to 3 mid equal to 3 so there are uh, let's not solve this for mid equal to 3 it will be very large let's solve this for mid equal to 2 so there are there are three possible cases for i equal to 0 goes to i equal to 2 so we firstly remove 0 from the prefix and we remove 2 from the suffix so my number of zeros left will be zeros left is equal to total number of zeros that are 8 minus prefix of 0 minus suffix of 2 so prefix of 0 is obviously 0 suffix of 2 is obviously 4 so the number of zeros left are 4 which is not less than equal to mid right so then the second case 0 is equal to uh, we, we remove 1 from the prefix and we remove 1 from the suffix so that is 8 minus prefix of 1 minus suffix of 1 so here obviously prefix of 1 is 2 suffix of 1 is 2 so 8 minus 2 minus 2 again it is equal to 4 which is not less than equal to mid which is not less than equal to mid so th this is also not possible so third is if we remove 2 from the prefix that is 8 minus prefix of 2 minus suffix of 0 again it is it will be 8 minus 4 equal to 4 which is not less than equal to mid again so your 2 is not possible cost so your 2 is not a possible cost not possible so your minimum cost will be greater than equal to mid Similarly, you can binary search for a minimum cost. Right. So that is the solution for this problem. Uh, and if you guys want to see my code, here is my code. Uh, first, I have counted all my ones. I have counted all my ones, and I have counted all my zeros. Then this is my mm, the arrays that I use to store my prefix and suffix, prefix zeros and suffix zeros, right? So prefix of i is equal to it is the number of zeros removed when you remove i ones. 
so prefix of zero here will be zero prefix of one here will be two prefix of two here will be four similarly I, I have found my suffix then this is my binary search low is equal to zero high is equal to ones uh, the number of ones that I remove right um, it is equal to number of ones that I remove and is possible is equal to zero initially uh, but left minus equal to uh, i is equal to number of ones remove from suffix sorry so from prefix so i i i remove i number of ones from my prefix so the number of left zeros are are uh, are are reduced by this number Similarly, my suffix, then the number of zeros are removed, suffix of zeros mid, mid minus i. Uh, then if left is less than or equal to mid, if the number of zeros left are less than or equal to mid, then I can say my cost is equal to mid. Then it is possible and I, I can just break out. If it's possible, answer is equal to mid, i is equal to mid minus 1. Otherwise, it is not a possible cost and the minimum cost is greater than my mid. So I will do else low is equal to mid plus one, and in the uh, in the end I just print out my answer. So that was it for this question, and if you guys have a doubt, do let me know in the comments, and I will be help you help you out. Uh, so if you guys don't know, Newton School is currently offering a six month full stack development course, right? It is totally based on pay after placement model. So आपको कुछ पे नहीं करना है upfront, right? There is zero hidden fees, there is zero upfront fee. कुछ पे नहीं करना है आपको uh and they will get you placed into top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc with a minimum package of rupees 5 lakh so they are guaranteeing that they will get you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakh but that is the minimum of course right the average package is uh, around rupees 7 lakhs and the highest is is rupees 26 lakhs right and the placement rate is over over, over 90% ऑल्सो जो इनके मैंटॉज हैं ऑल दर मैंटॉज आर फ्राम फैंग राइट फ्राम गोल्ड मैन सैक्स फ्राम अमेजॉन फ्राम फ्लिपकार्ट गूगल एक्सेट्रा सो यू कैन बी श्योर की जो भी मैंटोरशिप है यू आर गेटिंग टॉप मैंटोरशिप द क्वालिटीज द क्वालिटी ऑफ द कोर्स इज टॉप नॉच राइट ऑल्सो अगर आपको थोड़ा मतलब आप थोड़ी हेजिटेंट मेरे को कोडिंग नहीं आती है हाउ वे लाइक कोप अप यू डोंट नीड टू वरी यू जस्ट नीड टू साइन अप फॉर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट अगर आप उसमें अच्छा करते हो यू विल भी साइंड अप फॉर द कोर्स राइट एंड ये छः मंथ लंबा कोर्स है राइट सो यू डोंट नीड टू वरी दे विल टीच यू फ्रॉम स्क्रैच Uh, so you can still cope up अगर आपको कुछ भी नहीं आता है इफ़ यू डोंट नो कोडिंग दे टीच यू फ्राम स्क्रैच राइट द कोर्स इज़ वेरी बिगिनर फ्रेंडली सो इफ़ यू गाइज आर लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब दिस इज डेफिनेटली अ हेड स्टार्ट दैट यू शूड एम फो एंड आई विल हाईली हाईली रिकमेंड दिस इफ़ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब इन द टेक फील्ड राइट और सिमिलर एरिया राइट सो डू साइन अप फॉर दिस द लिंक विल बी डाउन बिलो एंड लेट मी नो इफ़ यू गाइज आर डाउट अबाउट द वीडियो इज विल Uh, and do let me know the questions or the problems that you want to see solutions for or some general improvement tips uh, and i will be happy to cover them as well